What's up, everybody? We are Metalocity. On an hour earlier. An hour earlier for your listening pleasure. Free of charge. Free. That's the best price ever. Best price ever. But if you want to donate something, uh... We wouldn't, we wouldn't be offended. <laughs> Except for, you know, maybe a ration of shit. If they want to donate a ration of shit, I might be a little offended. Right. Or I might not be. I don't know. It depends on how bad the ration is. So we're on a mission tonight to be as metal as possible. And to talk about satire uh, type humor. Uh, Just humor in general. Whether it be from across the country or from... (laughs) Who can I offend tonight? (laughs) (laughs) Right? I thought you were the palatable one, dude. What the fuck? (laughs) The hell? Not for the kiddies. I'm just throwing that out there. (laughs) (laughs) Just going to throw this out there and see what happens. Yep, so we're going to be here until 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We want to thank everybody for tuning in for the extra hour. Coming up in the month, uh, we're going to be scheduling a lot more interviews. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff. we got some cool uh, shtick in mind as well. Indeed. We always do. Yep. We have it in mind. Whether it comes to fruition is... Yeah, that's always the thing, right? I got the most metal song to write right on the tip of my brain. I just can't seem to get it to go on the guitar. (laughs) That is fucking sick, dude. What the hell? Why are you making me look at these pictures? <laughs> Jesus Christ, warn a brother before you fucking... I didn't even know what the fuck was going on myself, dude. Sorry, dude. <laughs> this is what happens when you look at pictures while we're uh, you know, trying to start the show. Uh, you see some sick shit that wounds your inner child. Yeah, right, right in the inner child. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, in, in the mix with all these pictures. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's going to be an awesome show Just to give you an idea of what to expect <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude <laughs> I didn't realize pictures like that would just totally crossfade your filter right there Yeah, shit, what was I going to say? I have no idea You know what's even more disturbing is somebody thought it was a good idea to stand there with a camera You're right You know, they had, they had to decide to get the perfect angle, too <laughs> Humans <laughs> Good God, Sick man. bastards. Oh, man. All right. Well, be sure to check us out at Metalocity.net where you can hear some of the old archives of the show and you can support the stations that stream the show. And uh, we're going to get into some music right now, but we're going to be back shortly and we're going to kick it off right. Time to party, right? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. Good news, man. The, you saved a bunch of money on your car insurance? No, the government's going to spend $3.2 million to save the monarch butterfly. Oh, joy. I didn't know that throwing quarter rolls at butterflies would help them to it a It helps them life. fucking evade, dude. It gives their fucking heart some... It gives you some motivation, that's for sure. Get your shit up, get your shit together. I was like, Find damn. your shoes. You know, on one hand, they're like, shit, people are hungry and people are losing their jobs and it's a fucking travesty. But the monarch butterfly, dude. Yep, and we're going to invest in, like, weird-ass toads that nobody gives a shit about, and... Weird-ass toads? Well, there's always these crazy studies in weird, obscure places to save the endangered, who-the-fuck-knows-what toad. <laughs> who, who gives a fuck what toad? Yeah. Wow. I say burn everything. Kill everything and start over again. Nope, not even that. Just burn everything. Okay. Kill it with fire. It sounds good. It'll be like the sun. A beacon of hope. A beacon of hope. <laughs> <laughs> Wing! That's too funny. So I thought something... I saw something in the headlines that caught my attention. Wow. Oh, I saw this too. Good Did, story. Of all the people, wouldn't this be the case? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne must pay $27,000 to rid his home of bats. Wouldn't he just go on a fucking feeding frenzy? You know what I would do is throw some poison out. And I think that shit would just take care of itself. Or, you better yet, I would start construction. You know, add a new wing onto the house. Well, uh, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> a bat wing? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I think all the noise would definitely scare him away. Um, uh, he, he's like, 27000 I pulled that out of my butt. <laughs> would you want money pulled out of Ozzy's butt? I'm sure somebody would. <laughs> I particularly wouldn't care to have to be around it, but... Yeah, dog. 
$27,000 to rid his, ha- his home of bats? Isn't that just fucking karma? Yeah, that's, you know, that's basically $27,000 for biting the head off of bat back in the 70s, you sick bastard. Actually, I think it was the 80s. Or 80s. Because the 70s was the, the dove. Uh, he bit the head off something. He something. bit the head off a couple things. Right. Snorted ants, the whole nine yards. The guy's a rock star. What and can you say? copious amounts of drugs. Yeah. He did your share, my share, everybody else's share. <laughs> he literally yeah. did a shit ton of shares. That's why there's a cocaine shortage. This guy did it all. Is a shortage? Well, between him and Motley Crue in the 80s, I'm surprised oh, there's anything well, left. You know, I mean, <laughs> they just weren't getting pure enough shit to actually Those dudes rose the prices for the average man. Way to go, Motley Crue. <laughs> Jerks. Oh, shit. That's like the ultimate revenge or ultimate karma on fucking Ozzy right there, I believe. Yeah, that's a little awkward. But like I said, that's what happens when you bite the head off bats. Or doves. Or doves. You know, it's just the winged, winged community in general. And you know what else is funny is he can sing great, but he can't talk for shit. I just don't understand that. He can talk a little bit better. What, is he taking speech therapy? Uh, no, he actually is taking less medication. <laughs> yeah. That probably helps. <laughs> they had less, him on like a shit ton of fucking wait, wait, wait. pills. Legal and... or illegal medication? Uh, you know, it didn't specify, assume... so I'm just going to say a little from column A, a little from column B. Right. Guy's a maniac, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> but he's like Grandpa. Good thing he has his... Uh, he's like Grandpa Simpson. ...control freak wife to point him in the right direction every time. And he telling him to breathe in and yeah. breathe out. And... <laughs> yep. And he has great kids. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about John Osborne, oh, aka sorry. Ozzy Osborne. <laughs> I don't know. I think Jack's actually turned out okay. Somebody had to save the family, dude, or else they were going downhill. I, know, dude. I, I heard he's like cleaned I, up his life. He's gotten sober and uh, found Jesus. I doubt that is the case. That will be the day, huh? <laughs> That'll be the day that the music dies, right? Yep. He puts out a Christian rock album. He's all. <laughs> Jack loves Jesus. What? You traitor son of a bitch. <laughs> Ozzy's like, his heart shatters. If I didn't purge my system of all the old bits, I would have had one ready to play <laughs> right then. Which one? Well, there's a couple of them. There's that one. <laughs> this one. Oh, mate. Let's see. Maybe I can find oh, something that works. Geez. There you go. Well, that was kind of weak, wasn't it? Is your fuck you back in there? Nope. Oh, what? Gone. Gone. <laughs> that hardly seemed appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> that does it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That reminds me of the other night. We're sitting here making bits, right? And so we're just like recording us talking the entire time. We came up with some pretty good shtick. It was all right. Yeah. yeah. I was able to edit a bunch of it down, not in time to make a bit for you Don't. listeners to hear. Probably next week. That'd it'll, be cool. It'll be a good one. That'll be funny. I know you're just going to fucking take all the bad parts where I was like, fuck this and fuck that and fuck yeah. you and fuck everyone else. <laughs> kind of rapey. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like that, people. <laughs> <laughs> Fitting for Awkward that. moment. Uh-oh. Um, hey, were you anticipating a cookbook, possibly from uh, some metal musician? <laughs> you're waiting that for your, you're waiting for that in your Kindle, aren't you? Uh, what's a Kindle? I thought it was fire. Is that one of those things you light when your when your light bulb burns out? You, I thought it was what you get to get a fire starter or a fire going. Fuck, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess uh, Benny Paul is uh, putting on a fucking cooking album <laughs> or cooking a, a cooking, cooking book, album, a cookbook. Is it gonna is it gonna be a sing along? It might be. It might be like the fucking uh, then I might get cooking it. with Pantera or then, cooking with Phil Anselmo. Yeah. If he's like singing and dancing like an idiot, I'll totally check it out. Or if he's up there like Martha Stewart in like a flowery apron. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the picture, it looks like he definitely knows how to eat. I don't know if that means he knows how to cook. Well, you know. He's like, you get your can of Spam, open it up, throw it in the frying pan. You know, pan. he's actually pretty legendary for, uh, for Make his some mac and, and cheese. Shit, for his barbecues. Cut your spam up in little bits. Dude's got a fucking crown royal shaped pool. Not chunks, but bits. <laughs> He's got a crown royal shaped pool. Of course he does. Still doesn't mean he doesn't know how to cook for shit. <laughs> Maybe he has a catered. I don't know. He's all, this is how I make ramen. First, I use slightly less water than what the instructions call for. Because you don't want that shit soggy. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Who else Sometimes would you Sometimes I like to me? get creative and throw vegetables or egg droplets in it. <laughs> egg droplets. <laughs> Makes me Who feel else like would I have you expect money. a cookbook from in the metal community? Uh, in the metal community. Well, I mean, like, you know, Rush would obviously put out some pretty bitchin' cooks. I was going to say, you know, you know, there's some old 80s bands who, who've gotten kind of hefty over the years. <laughs> <laughs> they packed on some pounds yeah. and some saddlebags. I'm just saying heart went to the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sly Benster Hyman isn't fitting into them fucking threes anymore. Yeah. <laughs> She's more like a 33. So, hey, guys. Do you have me ham? <laughs> Oh, shit. Who else would you expect one of them from? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Who knows how to eat? Like, I have a tapeworm, obviously. I know how to eat. <laughs> well, you know what to eat because it'll just fucking sh- <laughs> My tapeworm is like, hey, fuck you. I don't like Mexican food, all right? <laughs> you know, I know. That's why I ate it. <laughs> uh, I would expect, like, uh, maybe Glenn Benton from fucking Deicide put out a cookbook. <laughs> or the dude from uh, Testament, Chuck Billy. Yeah, even the name Chuck Billy says I'm overweight. <laughs> his, you know? his nickname. I know steak, how to eat. So they call him Chuck Steak. He's uh, I'm I'm overweight because I know how to eat steak. That's steak right there. Diabetes. <laughs> oh, that would suck. Well, the diabetic what? cookbook with Chuck Billy. Yeah. <laughs> First, you get some ice cream, you throw some marshmallows on it, throw some chocolate syrup. Then you and, throw that in the deep yeah, fryer. I guess some sprinkles. Yeah. <laughs> Dip it in hot fudge and <laughs> <laughs> douse it in caramel. You're gonna go. <laughs> All right. That in a bottle of whiskey, you're good for the night. Maybe two bottles. Maybe. You know, I mean, to wash all that shit down, <laughs> you would need a couple of bottles of whiskey. Who else? I'm like. Okay, in music in general. Would you expect one from, like, uh, David Lee Roth? No, you know what I would expect from David Lee Roth is, like... Some more insulting insults? Some, you know, like, all of a sudden he's on Hair Club for Men with a whole giant head of hair. <laughs> with a big old br- blonde afro. Yeah. He's all, I'm back in Van Halen! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the people will love me again! <laughs> yeah. Look, everybody, hair! <laughs> I'm relevant! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As is, I think there's only like two or three original members of Van Halen left, right? I was going to say two or three hairs, but that was going to be awfully conservative. I'm saying like <laughs> I am five or six. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> Diamond David Lee Roth is back. Ah! <laughs> as oh, long as he wears those weird, super skin-tight, checkered fucking Up leotards. to the nipples. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> up to the nipples. Well, dude, every time I see him, his pants get fucking... He's all, I'm gonna get me Hiked some spandex and, and some aqua rock. I'm ready to go. Aqua rock with some fucking tuxedo speedos <laughs> right under over the top of this fucking spandex. Couple of bottles of Old Spice. <laughs> Ladies love high the old karate. Spice. <laughs> some high karate. Oh, oh shit! Jesus, I wear Old Spice. <laughs> Fuck. That's my point. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was examining. I have to make one, huh? You seen the grandmas that are checking you out lately? No, dude, I am not the Iron Chef of Pounding Vaj over 50. You need to get Axe. Axe? That way you'll get stared at by... What? Girls barely out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what is that pleasant aroma? <laughs> well, me. That smells like mine. I have hair! <laughs> yeah. Psych and I'm broke. <laughs> You know, women just call me fucking ugly until they see my paycheck. Yeah. Then they call me ugly and broke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I just feel the need to throw out here. We're just kidding, and none of these comments are meant to offend anybody. <laughs> Metal Ossidus is not reflective. <laughs> Clearly. Nobody gives a fuck about our opinion, not even us. <laughs> <laughs> In case you do give a fuck about that opinion, 805-409-8585 is the number to call oh, to express right. your concerns, complaints, or, you know, if right. you have cheers. Because we are going to be on for the next three hours, so fuck it. Well, you might as well call in. Tell you know, us off. We accept cheers and jeers. we got a strong argument ready for anything. Oh, yeah? Well, mostly. Most of the time. If you catch us on a good time. We'll just... Deviated over to unnamed source who's sitting over here looking at the, uh, his computer. Like this. Bam. All right, dude, say What's so- a you? About what? You get, that's why you have to really listen. You, and you we're may, done. Yep, you may, <laughs> you may miss something that was important. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I think metal just cut us off. It did. I'll accept that, though. We'll be right back.
What's up, everybody? We are back live and loud. You are listening to Metalocity, and we still have... About two hours to go. A little over two hours. Yeah. We are not even into our completed first hour of the show yet. So we hope everybody enjoys the new show time. Or indulges in it. That's right. Hoping to reach people who were saying to us, your show is so damn late in the East Coast that nobody can ever tune in. You guys are so awesome, but we need you earlier. However, I just want to throw out there that we have listeners in Germany, not Germany, uh, Russia. Oh, yeah, Germany. Yeah, Germany, Finland. Finland, yeah. We're morning drive in Japan. Number one morning drive in that, Japan. That's going to be, our, yep. <laughs> um, that's, that should be our promo, huh? That should. Number one in Japan. Morning drive. In metal internet radio. <laughs> yep. And the streaming from America category. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> and we forgot to add that little... Asterisk. Got to close yeah. that window. Coming from, you know, Ventura County. In the Southern California yeah. area. <laughs> <laughs> um, Coming from the street. Yeah. It's a hard life, man. Someone's got to do it, though. So it takes a little more time to set up a show. But you know what? Like I said, we're going to have more times for interviews. and We got some stuff set up. Indeed. There's some events coming up. We're looking forward to promoing. You still have not told me, like, the who's who. Of what's what? Of, yeah, that's right. Right. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Um, you were like, I haven't even told you yet. But you'll be fucking amazed. Oh, it's too bad I forgot. Isn't that awesome? I bet it was awesome. I bet so. If I had that kind of like, <clears throat> must have been bitching. You did. You were like, all about it. <laughs> and then you remind me now. Yep. Thank you. I'd like to. Uh, hey, at thank least you, one bit works. So yeah. Th- that's the big news that was going around, is that uh, Kanye West interrupted Beck up on stage at the Grammys. <laughs> Dude, I love the internet pictures that have been floating around. Oh, yeah. You know, and <laughs> guess who had to weigh in on this? Oh, of course. <laughs> One of the members of KISS, Paul Stanley. He's says, just as bad as... Uh, said on his Facebook that he I'm should have, say. quote, should have kicked Kanye West right in the nuts and yeah. said, get the fuck off my stage, Except end quote. he probably would have got his ass kicked, I'm just saying. <laughs> Beck's all, boom, right to the round table. He's Kanye like, turns around, he's all, I ain't got none. Yeah. Bah! You did not just kick me in the jimmy. <laughs> kick me in the jimmy. He's all, do it again. Yep. Whoa. Or he likes it. Yeah. He's all, do it again. <laughs> in the sick way. <laughs> <laughs> Drooling. Yeah, dude. Um, that was a big big hoo-ha to do this week was Kanye jumping up on stage and being like, hey, you should have given it to fucking what's or nuts. Yep. I can't wait till he interrupts like a presidential speech or something like that. Or dude, Zach Wild. You think Zach Wild would kick him in the nuts? Do you think he'd pile drive him right then and there? Oh, we'd find out if he's all talker. Stone all Cold Stunner. Boom. Yeah. Wow. Imagine if he did nothing. If he started crying. The rock bottom. I was about to say something. <laughs> I have a beard. Yeah. I have, like, I have oh. hair. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see the dome? <laughs> I'm relevant. <laughs> You know what? Zach Wilde would be extra relevant if there was a Pantera tribute reunion show. No. Everybody would be like, oh shit, Zach Wilde. There was footage of him doing I'm Broken on the 70,000 tons or shipwrecked or whatever with Phil Anselmo. Right. It it just wasn't dying. It wasn't Pantera. There's no way. I don't think there's any fucking way. It's not meant to replace him. Not meant to be him. It's just to show a tribute or show honor to him. Right, exactly. That's what it's all about. It's but not still. about replacing this guy's exact fucking lick for lick fucking ability, you know. Yeah, well, it would kind of have Zach to be if Wild it's a tribute. Plays in a Zach Wild kind of way. Well, then he should be, be playing in more of a fucking dime bag kind of way if he's well, going to do a tribute. I'm sure he would, you know, try to. I know there's like thousands of. The brother fucking was dime seasick. Bag. All right, he was on a fucking <laughs> ship. I, I didn't want to say anything, all right? He's a little <laughs> sensitive on the ocean. He had a couple of drinks. Why do you got to keep bringing it up? He can't man? have a couple of drinks. He's fucking, he's sober off of that because of his blood clot. And he had a couple of drinks, and that's why he was really <laughs> fucking tripping. He wanted to take it easy. He was having a hard fucking stressful night. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> why you got to be on a brother's ass like that? <laughs> so he made a mistake. <laughs> What was that when they were roasting? They were like, don't you remember when you were drinking and you are funny and you were awesome to hang out with? Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of, of drinking, dude, I was thinking. Fuck. I was thinking. I'm going to just Uh-oh. throw this out oh, there. Oh, no. We should have a fucking drinking show. The Progressively Drunker Show? That's right. 
you know, because of, I'm, I was thinking I have a birthday show coming up. You know? Is it, are we on on your birthday? No, that's on a Saturday. Okay. But the Thursday before, I think we can get fucked up and I can take Friday off work. That's true. I would have, you know what? It's a proclamation now. We could start the show sober and clean and friendly. Who says I do that now? As we normally do. <laughs> sober as could be. And then imagine this. Progressively through the show, we get worse. <laughs> I can picture it. Yep, I have a... Oh, you know what? I'll bring over the bottle of Gentleman Jack that Unnamed Source got me for the holidays. Uh-huh. It is unopened with a couple glasses. I have some green label Jack Daniels somewhere. Okay, we will get tore up. Tore up from the flow up. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to take three hours to find out. So. <laughs> Hopefully we can go three hours. Uh, yeah, by the second hour, we're just like, fuck this! <laughs> <laughs> Live! Live! <laughs> What the fuck is going You're on? Listening. <laughs> Am I okay? Uh, yeah. I would rather listen up. to Pink Floyd on KLOS. <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> oh, easy on the Florida jokes, man. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, South Georgia. Just kidding, East Florida. Georgia. You. S- <laughs> you're okay. Hey, you're, you're okay. Someone okay. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely <laughs> say that. Kind of rapey, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly rapey. <laughs> And there's people there who eat other people's faces and shit. But you're okay. Yeah. In my book. <laughs> you are okay, and not Oklahoma. <laughs> Great, there goes our Oklahoma <laughs> Oklahomians. Is that what you call them if you're in Oklahoma? I, I don't know. An Oklahomian? I, I would guess. Oklahoma? Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, well, that definitely goes... <laughs> you know what? We're stupid. Clearly, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we're. Yeah. I'm under duress right now. <laughs> if you listen to the show... <laughs> For any length of time, you'd understand. Satirical comedy. <laughs> yeah. That's why we call it entertainment. Entertainment. Not fact. <laughs> Big difference. How the fuck could you take what I say as fact? I'm just saying everything I say is true. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that seem a little unfair? It does seem unfair. Kill switch is engaged. Kill switch <laughs> engages Adam Dukewitz with more than 50,000 <laughs> 50, in prizes on The prices, Right. Damn. Right? I guess he had won a yellow how Honda car. How the fuck is it on the prices right? He just how do you do that? You just fill out an application. I, I guess so. And then dude, just we're gonna become the dude's piece of metal who've been featured on. I'll the be like, front. oh my god, I just won fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> well, no, dude, it says he won a yellow Honda car going on to the showcase showdown. And uh, let's see, uh, he beat out his fellow his fellow finalist and walked away with a new black truck. And a trip, winning more than fifty thousand dollars in prizes. Wow! So Let's you want a car, a truck, and a fucking trip? No shit, son of a bitch. The price was right for Adam D. By the way, I didn't win the Powerball. That's why we're oh, on tonight. Man. Had I won the Powerball, there'd be no Metalocity tonight or ever. <laughs> We'd be doing it from the, our new block that I just purchased out in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> in the Bahamas. <laughs> I thought you would have been coming at a name source with at least a hundred mil. I could probably get us each an island. <laughs> I think we'd be all right. Get in the together. Antiguas, yeah, you know something. Well, can we not be in the Somali pirate area? <laughs> yeah, discount. <laughs> and your own AK. Yeah, comes with free old Russian artillery. <laughs> <laughs> at your favorite price, low, low, low. Yeah, oh, I don't know man. how we went from that to. Uh, or the price is right thing to artillery, Russian artillery, but... Well, you were talking about buying islands. Yes, sir. Powerball. Would you call it buying out or selling in? I would call it... Selling it out or buying matter. in. I'm rich. It doesn't matter. Call it whatever you want. Metallica plays corporate salesforce.com concert in San Francisco. <laughs> they played another corporate gig. A corporate they sellout. They bought for a corporation. Wow. For a couple hours. So if I have the money, I can have Metallica come to my party. You can rent Metallica. Yes. How much does it cost, does it say? Uh, no, but, you know... Isn't that a great idea, name Source? We could have Metallica come by? Oh. Oh, shit. There, there you go. Metallica? <laughs> Metallica, that's right. And they played some old fucking favorites, too. They were Hit hired the lights, by a company Master Puppets, to Welcome play home. their party. Sad but true, The Unforgiven, Fuel. I think we well, can how hire... the fuck much does that cost? Um, that's what I just asked. <laughs> I don't know, but I could find out. For your quarter million, Metallica will show up. Oh, shit. A, a quarter mil? Damn. <laughs> that, that's probably about right. 
They come up and play like for whom the bell tolls, one battery. And then they come out there and they're like, there's blue M&Ms in this fucking yeah. bowl. <laughs> 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 Brown M&Ms is what, Brown what uh, they didn't want. These are cheese chunks. <laughs> I wanted cubes. You Son fucking the bitches. <laughs> yeah, there's something wrong there. There is. Well, you know, I mean, to, to be able to buy metallic. I, you know, I suppose you could probably rent. Let's see. How much for a phoner? <laughs> can you phone in, all four of you, with your instruments? And just put the phone in the middle of the room. Just say Metalocity, and then you can hang up. That's all. I'm sure there should be some kind of discount for a one-word interview. They're all Metalocity. Well, that's enough. <laughs> we rented him for a thousand bucks to come on our show and say... Click, click, click. I see yeah, we're huh? looking something up, huh? Yep. Oh, I see. How much to rent Metallica? Metallica booking. Oh, shit. <laughs> Celebrities for hire. Metallica booking entertainment. Guess how much it was cost to hire the Rolling Stones? <laughs> probably less than Metallica. Let's see here. Well, no, because you've got to pay for the oxygen tanks and stuff. It's probably a nightmare. <laughs> Ouch, man. Yeah, you got to cover our pharmaceutical costs. Metallica to may be available for your next special event. No shit. Uh, serious requests that? only. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm serious. I ain't got no money, but I'm still... Uh, you know, it doesn't say. Damn. We should schedule Metallica. Oh. And just hope they show up. <laughs> we'll be like, uh, we'll pay you after the show. <laughs> wink, wink. That's an IOU, pal. We'll see if we can get something set up at the tavern. Oh, shit. Uh, do I just see this Metallica point five million? Oh. You were wrong, dude. Had twice as much as what uh, Unnamed Source was expecting there. So what? That's like two hundred for James, two hundred for Kirk, one for uh, you know whoever's gonna play. <laughs> oh bass, no, dude! And it's, then it's fucking 50 James cents for it's, Lars. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> it's gotta be, dude. Look at five sorry, million point sorry. five million. You get no hair. You have look no hair. Lady Gaga for a million. What? Eagles a million. Rolling Stones a million. What? The Eagles a million? I don't think so. Billy Joel one million. <laughs> Hundred thousand. That still seems excessive. Usher million. Pitbull free. Really? Charlie Sheen free. It says zeros. Fergie, free, dude. I'm still shocked in a million dollars for oh, the wait, Hold on, thing. it's here. Hold on. Can, uh, uh, you know they have a, you know, a little asterisk right here with the Kim Kardashian one, but I don't know why it says zeros. Oh, okay. dude, we can get Mike the situation douchebag on here and punch him right in the face. Right on. Ooh. No, well, yeah, that, that's highly illegal. I wouldn't expect the uh, a million dollars for the Rolling Stones. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's what it says right here. Mick Jagger. Don't I guess not. I guess Keith Richards needs to <laughs> snort some more of his dad. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Usher, a million. Jennifer Lopez, a million. Billy Joel, one million. Billy Joel, a million? Yeah, that's what it says. Well, no, that... He's Billy Joel. What? The he... Eagles, though. Come on. Does but Billy really no. like the Eagles that much? Well, I agree. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my cab. But I like Billy Joel even less. What? Oh, I didn't know you were a huge fan. I didn't mean to offend. <laughs> You celebrate his entire catalog, do you? He's good at what he does. Whatever that is. Huh. <laughs> well, let's see here. What else? Yeah, that one's just like, yeah, only serious inquiries. We're not like, well, this is <laughs> this is Metalocity. We want to know it's yeah. Red Metallica, man. I'll slap you in the face with my penis. If you <laughs> <laughs> Slap your face with my baloney. That was wrong. Well. Wrong that I didn't say it sooner. <laughs> I should get something straight. I should be ashamed. I'm not, but I should be. <laughs> Third yeah. highest selling artist. What, the hell? What, is what is that noise? I bet it's bet one of my open windows here. Oh, awesome. Is there a commercial playing in the background? Probably. Yeah, that's probably one of mine. Damn, imagine. I don't know where from. 0.5 million. Half a million. All right, we're going to start a band camp, and I think that we can make something happen. <laughs> Fundraise. I think there is a Metallica band camp. How much does it cost to hire Metallica? Yeah, oh, yeah. It would probably be around 500000 Not including not including the expenses. Oh, shit. And they're like, we only drink Don Perignon and... Cristal, motherfucker. Yeah. We get fucked up, so... <laughs> How much does it cost to hire Rihanna? Well, you know what? Thank goodness they're old dudes now and not in their young 20s when they would have been like, we're going to need blow and hookers and all this other stuff that us young rock guys do. Oh, speaking of that, cut off by the metal. Metal. Let's get into it. Well, 
What's up, everybody? We are back live and loud. You are listening to Metalocity. Thank you very much for tuning in to tonight's crazy pandemonium. Insanity. It's always insanity. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them, too. Why are you going to do this to me? Go I'm for not it. Doing it That's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, thrown cocaine landed on hood of police car. What is this document title under? This um, is just things that have happened in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see here. All Cop. right. Cops, what? Walmart, shoplifters left kids in vehicle. Uh-huh. This is Wh- just in Florida. <laughs> Woman busted for prophylactic attack on Bo. Bayou. Uh, that's Bo. Is it? Yeah. Uh, threw condom box in boyfriend's face. A what? Threw a condom box oh, in oh, boyfriend's oh. face. Three best breasted hoaxer story gets deflated. Uh, elderly Florida diner beaten and cursing dispute. That's great. Woman busted for motorcycle pleasure session. Husband busted for choking wife over chicken. <laughs> was it his? <laughs> I could have said she was choking somebody else's chicken. That might have been fucked up. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shoe cam used to film store upskirts. <laughs> Sandy Randy duo in lewd beach romp bust. Sea Doo's husband battered wife on jet ski. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, because doing anything on jet skis is fine, even battering somebody. Randy Senior, sixty-eight, pleads not guilty to public sex act. That's is that her too? Is that her? Whoa. <laughs> I, I can see why she pled not guilty. Okay, so I had to check this one out. Oh, that dude's guilty. <laughs> yeah, those two. Yeah. I don't even uh, know what the story's about, but uh, in a botched bid to ditch evidence, a Florida man allegedly threw out a bag of cocaine of the sunroof of a vehicle in which he was a passenger, but the drug landed squarely on the hood of a trailing police car, according to investigators. Oh man, sought to pull over the Acura at two a.m. yesterday, or that. That day, after the vehicle nearly slammed into his cruiser, activated his car overhead lights, the other vehicle, which carried two men, continued moving. While shining the spotlight on the Acura, Bruno noted, I saw the sunroof of the vehicle open. I knew the passenger was going to throw something out of the vehicle. Watch as the vehicle's passenger... Sh- What's that? That's a long story. Yes, it is. I was just providing that they fucking clear bag come out of sunroof and fly into the air. Could you imagine? That's like giving the cops the fucking evidence. Well, say they threw it out the window and the cop reached out and caught it. And <laughs> that's, I just had With a funny middle picture. Oh. Guy tries to throw his bag of dope out the window and the cop's like whoosh, 80 miles <laughs> an hour. I don't think so, <laughs> punk. <laughs> Busted. Is this your booger sugar? Robo trooper. Robo trooper. I, I didn't want to say cop because that name's been taken. <laughs> yeah, we don't want copyright infringement. That's right. Robo Trooper is legit. Robo Trooper. That's my shit right there. <laughs> Man steals pork loin from Sam's Club by shoving it down his pants. All right. Why not? Yeah, that seems legit. I'd be like, what? It's all natural. Does this not amuse you? It's organic. <laughs> <laughs> no pesticides. I bet this happens all the time. Store manager steals money and makes up robbery story. Still thirty four thousand dollars. Wow! From a supermarket at one time, or over the course of, then he made up some bullshit story about a dude with a hockey mask came in and robbed the place. And <laughs> think so? Mm, I don't know. As himself? No, no. I'm saying, do you think that that happens often? That he like an insurance scam? Oh, you know, I would imagine. You know someone who drives your car to Mexico, and then you call the insurance company and say, "Hey, my car has been stolen." Then you go down to Mexico and buy the same car back with a new VIN number for a thousand bucks. Just a thousand? Well, I'm just throwing a number out there. I really don't know. I've only heard what the internet says, and everybody knows the internet's legit. The internet's true. <laughs> it's got to be true, right? A man who tries to stop an armed robbery charged with a felony. Tried to stop the armed robbery? Because he pulled out a gun and he was an ex felon. Gotcha. 
So he wasn't supposed he to have a gun. He stopped the fight. But he wasn't it, supposed to have a gun. Right. The intent was good. But the highway to hell is a vicious thing. <laughs> Isn't it? That's funny. Oh, look. Fleeing Florida car thief hit alligator. Crashed. <laughs> Florida man uh, ma- marks occupation as drug dealer on arrest report. <laughs> <laughs> That's genius. He's like, I ain't fucking. That's that's me. What's up? I ain't afraid <laughs> of no ghost. That's what I do. It's my thing. Oh, it's a Florida weird. man, thirty six, was killed by an alligator when he jumped into a lake in an apparent effort to evade police, and was eaten by an alligator. <laughs> that's fucking instant karma. <laughs> yep. I, I don't get this, dude. Tennessee couple arrested of stealing 57 blocks of cheese from Walmart. What? The reason is unclear, says deputies. <laughs> I bet that fuck it is. Like, what the fuck would you do with all that cheese? You that's sick That's a lot perverts. of nachos, dude. That's a lot of nachos, <laughs> or that's one fucking mean Friday night right there, dude. They, they were like, fuck the- Jello, Fuck baby oil. <laughs> it's all about the melted cheese. I'm picturing like a Jeffrey Dahmer type person, but who loves nachos... <laughs> We have all these killed people in our freezer. Hey, let's make killed people nachos. We don't have any chips. We have stiff corpses. <laughs> Throw some cheese sauce on like a fondue. It's fucking rock That's and awesome. roll. awesome. Look at this headline. <laughs> jailed for toilet seat attack on disabled kin. Man jailed for toilet seat attack? <laughs> That's all with a deadly weapon. He just ripped off the toilet seat and started beating him, the dude with it? I guess, dude. Oh, That's pretty harsh. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the 48-year-old victim. 20-year-old beat a 48-year-old victim. Ran up to him and struck him in the back of his head with a toilet seat lid. Uh, there's this thief who stole a bunch of tools from this guy's construction site. And then he was all fucked up. Tried to sell them back to him later on that same day. <laughs> he didn't realize that they were the same dudes that he actually stole the shit from. That's fucking funny. So they kicked his ass and then he got arrested. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Drone carrying drugs crashes south of the U.S. border. No shocker there. <laughs> the we, shocking we read that thing, story. The shocking thing is it crashed. <laughs> we actually read that story last week. Because it was like a drone with like three pounds? Or? No, it had to have been like three ounces. No, I think it was like three pounds. It was a yeah, huge drone. Like, yeah. And a fucking drone. And we were like, that's fucking genius. It's a big fucking drone. That's genius, though, dude. Get a drone to carry the drugs across the fucking border? Hell yeah. No one's going to jail. And if it crashes, you only lose, you know, a couple, you know, a couple of pounds of coke. You're sitting fucking south of Brazil with a joystick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ain't no thing. And all of a sudden... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it crashes and coke just goes whoosh all over the entire town. Oh, wow. Entire I, town was fucked up today. I can't feel my fucking face. What the fuck is yeah. going on here? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Drone plane fucking spilling cocaine over the entire blast. city. Yeah. <laughs> Blasted everybody. Dogs are all running in circles. Everybody was highly motivated at work. <laughs> everybody seemed real talkative today. Followed up by a vicious burnout attack. <laughs> and everybody crashed. Oh, yeah. what's that? Metallica 83? That's the writer for 83. You know, they were only earning $1,250 per show, or per two shows. Say That's not bad. I know bands who make less. They were, by comparison, the band got uh, 625 up front and 625 on the day of the show. And um, also, if there were... It was probably was okay it? for 1983. They're like, damn, 600 bucks? They had... Uh, now we're like 600 bucks. What the fuck? The group be provided with a case of beer, a deli tray, a case of soda, and other beverages had to be split with Raven. The document also noted that, quote, Deli tray. when possible, and knew quote, it. each band should have be should be provided with its own dressing room. In the alternative, one capable of accommodating 15 people will be provided. <laughs> For their hookers? <laughs> I guess, man. I was trying to look up the difference between the Metallica 83 contract and uh, oh, well, or the writer. It sounds like it's and about... And the Metallica 2004 you know, forty nine million and some change different. <laughs> four hundred and ninety million? Yeah, four hundred and ninety million and some change. Um two thousand four tour writer. Catering. <laughs> Dressing room needs, security catering and other security uh, and other shit. Twenty four pages of a fucking of a tour writer. 
Wow. That's fucking amazing. That is excessive. Look at this shit. <laughs> the Metallica Terms of Agreement. U.S. Arena 2004. General provisions. Holy crap. Occupational health and safety. Special laws, ordinances. Lawyer jargon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, billing. Let's see. I don't see a uh, price tag on that. Well, no, that wouldn't be in there. No. This is just the terms and conditions of having them play. The limitations. Jesus. Um, geez, <laughs> man, there's a lot of fucking jargon in here. Yep. Fuck Merchandise that. Merchandise and vending. Greedy bastards. Alcoholic beverages. <laughs> really? Contacts. Size and scope. Does the venue have to provide provide the prostitutes now, or? I would think so. Dressing rooms. In the Metallica main dressing room. The Metallica food and schmooze room. The what? The Metallica tuning room. The Metallica wardrobe room. Metallica crew room. Metallica pyro room. Metallica tech room. Yeah. A yeah, pyro room. Damn. No, pyro, not porno. Oh. Uh, washing machine and clothes dryers. What the fuck? Security and safety. Wow, that's a lot of security and safety right there. Well, yeah, Lars doesn't want to get his ass kicked. You mean the dwarf doesn't want to? <laughs> Whoa, he's only like don't five foot nothing, dwarves, dude. dude. I there's a shortage of dwarves. I'm hearing. You don't call them dwarves. They're short people. Staffing levels. Really short people. Yes. People McNuggets. No, I think that's still offensive. Okay. Medical travel travel and parking. Jesus Christ! Bathroom security. Well, yeah. Fire curtain? Spotlight operators? <laughs> That's a lot of shit right there, dude. And I've only gone through just a brief overview of 14 fucking pages. Of brief 24. Overview. That's uh, just some of the... Fu- like, ventilation. That was more like an epic journey through four, 14 pages. Don't you remember this is the website we saw where, like, the Foo Fighters had a coloring book? Oh, yeah. A coloring and activity book? As I, their fucking tour writer? I do recall that. It was total interactive... Yeah, that's that. Yeah, this, this is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> so you're going to go see ACDC when they come our way? Um, You know, they got that one drummer back, so I might have to not see them. At the end of their North American tour? I'm not. Uh, I'll throw it out there. I'm not a huge fan. I don't really care. I mean, I'm not really cool. into giving the fucks about ACDC, actually. Oh, here's a story that pissed me off. <laughs> As so it should. It makes no sense to me. Uh, Tenacious D winning a Grammy for, for best a cover? metal performance for a cover of a Dio song. Right, right. That's what the rest of this headline says. Award for Dio last line, last in line cover. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Sorry. Still though. That is, uh, that's pretty shocking. They won out some over some pretty big name shit. I see that Mastodon, Anthrax, Slipknot. Huh? Do you think that Tenacious D is more metal than Slipknot? No. Two dudes with acoustic guitars, more metal right. than Slipknot. Nah. More metal than Motorhead? Well, no. I mean, look at the guys. <laughs> He was in a Disney movie for Christ's sake. <laughs> He's been in a couple of Disney movies now, actually. And he was been in that disgusting fucking rock star porn fucking uh, rock star semen porn clip. Didn't you show me that? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sick fucker. You show. You're the one trying to play like that was on the Tenacious D fucking Masterworks. Yep, that shit is wrong. The butt baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the blowjob. Yeah. And we watched them all. We're sick fucks like that. And and he, Disney movies. Disney. Butt baby Disney movies. <laughs> <laughs> Grammy <laughs> Award. Well, well, you better better be careful how you word that. Butt baby Disney movies? Come That's on. That's not man. a far stretch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes the hate mail. That's on yours. What a bummer. Um, did you hear about nope, the... Nope, I didn't. And it's a good thing because it looks like we're going to be saved by music. Oh, okay. Fine, I see how it is. Let's go ahead and get you some metal. We'll be right back. Never get tired of that music. (laughs) 
Um, so it's not the Dave that you're thinking of going to be making these comments. David Elfson says next possible is pretty much written and comments on a possible reunion with Menza and Friedman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace lineup. Menza and Friedman on gu- drums and guitar, respectively. We're very aware that a lot of people are hoping we do. I've connected with Nick over the last few years. Last couple years, especially at NAM. Marty's always been a friend. So, you know, he's saying I'm not saying, but I'm saying. You think? Nah, uh, I, don't think I don't think so, dude. You think Nementa, uh, Nick Menta will remember us and come on the show again? Uh, he's all metal who? Yeah, we've had him on the show twice. A couple of times, yeah. I think he's been on a total of three. Yeah, three times, actually. Yeah. So hopefully when he's jamming with Megadeth, he'll he'll remember who we are still. He says he'll take all press. All press got to mean us, right? Yeah. We fall into the category Seems of all legit. press. Yeah. I'm under that umbrella. It says that he was a founding member of this band, though? I don't know. A what? Was, he, was it the Dave and Dave show? From... I don't think so. Maybe it might have been, dude. Menza from the very beginning? No. no, no, no. I didn't say Menza from the beginning. No, I, I said Dave Elson was oh, a founding member. Yeah, that I believe he was. Okay. I believe if you look at the very first, what was it? Uh, Killing's My Business? Was that their first record? Yeah, I think so. He was on it. So it's always been the Dave and Dave show. Yeah. I'll be damned. That sounds like a gay porn. Well, you know. <laughs> the Dave and Dave show. Starring Megadeth. I guess he wrote a book. Oh, I'm sure he did, dude. Who hasn't wrote a fucking book? Um, Shit, I'm writing. I'm writing a book. I don't think Kerry King's written a book yet. What? I don't think he has. Where was it? Well, if not, he's working on one. <laughs> Where is it here? Um, you know what's funny is I don't think anybody even reads anymore in this country. He's heading to Australia in March for a spoken word tour, an evening with David Elfson. Oh, cool! I want to go on a spoken word tour. <laughs> I just sit here behind this stupid mic. The night will also feature a bass demonstration and audience question and answer session where he will allow fans to delve deeper into all things Megadeth and David's autobiography. My Life with Death, spelled D-E-T-H. I'll be like, so, excuse me, Dave, is it true that I don't give a fuck? A story about the complex (laughs) history of the band. Complex? Yeah. I guess he, he quotes Michael Anthony as changing his life as far as, like, you know, how he does shit. Yep. Were you guys all high on drugs? (laughs) <laughs> Does it look like he was high on drugs? Either that or he's... No, nah, actually, I almost said something that would have been, could have been offensive to people who like a Y Elson. chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't make the comparison. Apparently, he also says that the new music will determine the lineup. Wow. So it looks likely that Minza will be back in the band, huh? I don't know. Didn't say... Uh, let's see. Elson didn't say whether that would happen or not. I, you know, connected with him, blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, he's well, a great, great guy. Debate over when the Menza will return to the group. Luckily, rage on until the new members are announced. Duh. That seems about right. What do you think, man? Think we can get Menza back on the show once he gets, hits Megadeth again? Of course. Of course. All right. I like you that heard it here. A named source said it all right there. Menza's a cool guy. Menza's For sure. Ass, yeah. Uh, they're replacing Drover and Broderick, respectively. Hmm. Yeah, there must have been some awkwardness, huh? For those guys Maybe. to both be like, well... Yeah, it was like literally one night, and then the next yeah. morning the other dude was like, yeah, I'm out of here, contracts. fuck this guy. Yeah. Well, they, did, they just... They said that they, it's amicable, and that's just how it works. Well, that's what you always say for the press, dude. But we all know <laughs> that there's fucking bullshit drama going on. Yeah, like, like high school shit. <laughs> you stole my girlfriend. Yep. He's like, you know what, dude? Whenever we're on the bus and you take your shoes off, it fucking stinks, and I can't. No number take two it on the anymore. don't sit yeah. down on the bus. All right. You can't flush, dude. You never heard of flushing? <laughs> Shitter's full. You can't ever un- empty the shitter. Yep. Maybe it's a pain in the ass. I don't know. To empty the shitter? No, to oh, be stuck in a fucking bus touring across country with fucking born again Dave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the gospel. And little Dave. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they call David Elson. The go- That's what they call David <laughs> Elson. Damn. What the fuck were you... <laughs> where the fuck were you going on that one, dude? <laughs> little Dave. <laughs> <laughs> little guy. So that's David Elson. he's Elfin. little. Oh, I get it. Yep. No, they've always <laughs> called him, like, Dave and Little Dave. 
That sucks that Little Dave is referred to as, as Little Dave. Yep. It's kind of like his Johnson. <laughs> yeah. his, he's all dick. He's all, what? Well, everybody calls you Little Dave, so I figured I'd just call you Dick. <laughs> the fuck you call me? <laughs> Pow! Wouldn't it be fucking ultra shitty to get hit in the face by a fucking Little Dick? And there goes our Megadeth interview that we might have asked. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Son of a <laughs> <laughs> We talked our way right out of that one. <laughs> Kicked in the ass. They're like, Minzo will be like, I was listening to the show that one night when you guys. <laughs> on 212 15. You remember that? Huh? Huh? I don't remember that show. My I'm archive invite skipped Dave it. on just to bitch you out. Oh, shit. See, Which that'd Dave? Be a good show. Which Dave? Whoa. Stacks hate. Just send a Metalocities hate because <laughs> we'll this is. One at a time. <laughs> we'll line them up. We'll fucking knock them down. There's no fucking team in this shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Over every man for himself. I see huh? my way out of this. Overboard. <laughs> man overboard. I was never in the boat, dude, so <laughs> I'm on a different boat see, altogether. The thing is, I don't see, sail. <laughs> yeah, your shit's sinking over here. You need to jump overboard. I'm over here in some, another boat. Some all shallow safe. waters. Yeah. I'm looking over like, is some shit going on over there? <laughs> maybe I should do something, but I'm probably not going to. I should look some yeah. more. <laughs> well, maybe pretend to be busy so they don't see me looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> they might expect my help. <laughs> <laughs> la da da, la da, da. <laughs> Wiping down your boat. Yep. I gotta I make this shit shiny yet. because it's gonna be on the news. I saw this other boat getting fucked up. <laughs> that way when my messenger starts blowing up, it's like, they said what? <laughs> <laughs> your phone. It's in your pocket. Uh, yeah. I was wet. mentally tuned out at that time. <laughs> Where the hell did we go to there? Oh, we were shooting down our Megadeth video. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for bringing that one back up. Thanks for bringing back past memories. That shit's back there. Well, you got to worry about it. <laughs> well, it'll be good things moving forward. I'm sure, like I said, um, Nick Mintz is a totally cool dude. I'm yeah. sure if he is listening, he's probably laughing. And he's metal as fuck. Right. So it'll be, it, that'd be an awesome win for everybody. So see, Cannibal uh, Corpse have hit a nice uh, yeah. milestone here. Cannibal Corpse. You know what? I find this shocking. Uh, awarded with plaques signifying sales of more than 2 million of all 13 episodes. Or epi- episodes. episodes. <laughs> all 13 albums. That's cool. I'm sorry, I was just reminded of him being Nathan Explosion. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? I mean, they've been around for a long time and they, they finally sold 2 million records. Yeah. At least on Metal Blade. Right. And that's pretty good considering nowadays people are downloading all the free torrent and right? what have you. Yeah, well, it, it took a fucking. Yep. You know what? There's one redeeming quality. They're from Florida. Okay. See, well, I guess we can. Cut There's Florida. one redeeming quality about I mean, Florida. I'm it's not the sho- birth of death shocked metal. that a band like Cannibal Corpse would come <laughs> from Florida. But. I, you know, I, as that the facts happened, um, where as we were watching them, I think last week after the show, dude, there was like, oh, shit. all their all their songs are about fucking uh, either zombies or. You know, killing zombies, <laughs> except for Hammer Smashed Face, which is about Chris Barnes. Ah, uh, that's funny. Uh oh. What happened? <laughs> what oh, I was doing? just laughing at some comments in the chat. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, unnamed source getting some love in the chat room. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do they sound sexy? Oh, that's hilarious. <sighs> Are you getting solicited via email or via chat room? Best ten dollar whore this side of the Pecos. That's all he, I'm saying. He can, <laughs> he can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth as yeah. to not implicate myself or any others in this action. I guess Cannibal Corpse's new album, Skeletal Domain, sold eighty eight hundred copies in the United States its first week. <laughs> oh, uh, well, to hey, debut at position know. number thirty two on the Billboard two hundred. Okay. You only got to sell 8,800 copies to be 32 on the Billboard 200 chart. Right on. Oh. As like 198. Their previous CD, Torture, opened with 9,600. number came in at number 38. Uh, 2009's Evisceration Plague entered at number 66. Uh, 2006 CD, Kill, debuted at number 170 after shifting more than 6,000 copies. <laughs> <laughs> we were number 170 on the p- Billboard chart 200. Right. That's pretty harsh. That's a gnarly neck looking dude, too. That's the thumb, remember? Right. Yeah, I guess they're uh, big uh, World of Warcraft players. I'm not, I don't find that shocking. There's a special creature that you can unlock named, like, Gorge Corpse Grinder. 
a gorge the corpse grinder or something like that. And it's like a big old fucking <laughs> ogre looking dude. Hmm. That's a video game I probably haven't played yet. I uh, yeah, I haven't played it either. But yeah, dude, two million copies. Sales of more than two million copies. Yeah. I'm still looking at the chat. They're trying to everybody's trying to determine who the heck unnamed source is. Oh really? Is that how bad it is? <laughs> How much time we got there? He's huh? like a mutant kind of freak that we keep a like a. a <laughs> we a keep it on a bag. chain. Yeah. You ever seen the Goonies? Exactly. He lives in the cellar. Baby root. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, you don't want to meet this guy. He eats people. If you if you've seen Stack, I mean that literally know. too. I'm pretty sure he actually <laughs> eats people. He's kind of a strange dude. He's kind of quirky like that, you know. I'd cross the street. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> If you saw him barreling down the street on you? Like, here, just take my wallet and... <laughs> ah! <Yeah. laughs> Throwing wallets at him? Wow. I want to have that power. Oh, you probably could. You just got to look scarier. This looks scarier? Well, not when you have a happy face on. No. It, you know. uh, oh, sorry. No, it looks no, like... It, oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to work on my You know, like face. that rage, like someone just like... I was going to say insulted your honor, but you have no honor. <laughs> so. yeah, you got to have to have honor to begin that shit, dude. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Someone just shorted you on some money they owe you. <laughs> Break his fucking legs. Yeah. <laughs> I want him. There is no family. mercy. Oh, there is no God. <laughs> I'm calling up ISIS. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> calling up ISIS. You have him on standby on your cell phone, I don't. Phone, I don't. You're just throwing that out there? No. You know, I'm just oh, now you're retracting him. that statement? Uh, well, dude, here, feel free to go through my phone. <laughs> well, Government already has. Say. What? What up, NSA? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. From That's, a name source. <laughs> it's been a good show. You tell that, huh? I wonder I'm hated. <laughs> oh, so there's a Canada's Amnesia Rock Fest. <laughs> right, it's so good that people don't remember it? I would. <laughs> Did we play that shit in Canada? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> bailed from 18th to the 21st of June. In Montebello Marina in Quebec. The problem is nobody could remember the lineup. Two main days on June 19th and 20th. Camping from June 18th to 21st. Uh, it's 10th anniversary. I don't know. Wow. Nobody's ever heard of it. Maybe we, we talked about it last year. We nobody remember. remembers it. It is Amnesia <laughs> fucking rock fest. <laughs> among, among the headliners included would be uh, System of a Down, uh, which was the one of the most requested bands by festival goers. Wow. Uh, who will perform a rare concert this year to headline on Saturday night. Also the very popular group, Linkin Park. Very popular. Also worthy of note is return of punk rock group, The Offspring. Punk rock group? The Offspring? Uh, it'll, it'll have The Offspring there. Wow. They're, por- they're performing their Americana tour, or Americana uh, album. I see that. Plus, uh, Legendary metal band Slayer. Right. <laughs> Rapper Snoop Dogg. What? Horror, uh, Master of Horror, Rob Zombie. And Tenacious D. You know, huh, one of those things doesn't match. Can you guys figure it out? And if with you can... The Pixies, Sublime with Rome, Deftones, who will perform the album Around the Fur, Rancid, uh, will perform An Outcome the Wolves, Bad Religion, uh, Refused, which is a reunion, Thrice, which is a reunion, Coheed and Cambria, Story of the Year, and many others. Wow, that's a kind of a mixed melting pot. Flogging pump. Molly, Go Gold Bordello. Um, what? Propagandi, Goldfinger, Less Than Jake, Good Riddance, Ten Foot Pole. Ten Foot The Bouncing Soul, Satanic Surfers, Reunion. Uh, legendary acts such as Buzzcocks, Descendants, All the uh, all the Exploited, GBH, Michael Graves of Misfits. Good God. A blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Industrial it's be groups, a big Ministry, show. and Skinny Puppy. Nobody for gives own, a fuck, dude. For their first show together since 1988. They're not going to remember it anyway, so I don't Park know why we're going with this huge fucking Down lineup. with Phil Anselmo. It's not like anybody from Canada is listening. Uh, Fear Factory. Atreyu, yep. Reunion, Carcass, Bolt Thrower, The Melvins. But we're going to go through the whole list anyway. Jesus Christ. That's a fucking shit ton of, of kick-ass bands. Nobody cares. You don't care about the fucking Melvins? <laughs> no, I, I don't care about that <laughs> festival. I don't think anybody... If you, oh, For our fans in Texas, Canada, they're having a bitchin' festival that you probably aren't going to go to. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> right. It's, it's Canada. Possible. I mean, you might want to go up for some syrup. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Or some just some of their bacon. Well, let's get into some metal while we debate this fact. And bacon. (laughs) 
What's up, everybody? We are back live and loud right here on Metalocity, and we still have a good 45 minutes of metal to go. Yeah. That's awesome. So y- you were just uh, going over some of this bio. Uh, over, no, well, it wasn't over really a bio. Over, oh, right, or a history of, I guess. Yeah. You want to repeat that for our listening audience? Do I really want to drive the nail in the coffin on the magnet? No, you know what? Let's talk about something else. Fuck that story. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who's coming out with a cover- covers album? Oh, sh- That's right, Alice Volume Cooper. weird. Alice Cooper is coming out with a fucking covers album. Songs that were originally written and recorded by The Doors, Hendrix, John Lennon, and The Who. Members of the so-called, quote, Hollywood vampires of the mid-70s. The mid-70s. Well, Alice Cooper's making a covers album. I guess he says it's a who's who of guest musicians, too. Uh, I could see that. He'll probably get some names on there. Yeah, I doubt those guys, but he'll probably get some modern metal guys, I'm sure, in his band. He'll get a fat all-star lineup. Yeah, he says that he can't, he can't be specific. People who've covered his songs and stuff in the past. I can see that. It's like time to call in a favor. Megadeth? And Guar? (laughs) (laughs) Because they did Schools Out, didn't they? I believe. Megadeth covered, uh, I think, Schools Out, right? Uh, Or No More Mr. Nice Guy. Right. That's right. Good call. Yep. So... You're saying that members of Guar have to come in and look at- to show up at Alice Cooper. Uh, I guess at one point uh, he says, "I'm looking around the studio and going, holy crap! Look who's in the studio." It would be right. He's still alive. Yeah, <laughs> I have hair. And you, know, unlike Ozzy, I can understand what this guy says. Guess who's a born again as well? You're kidding. Nope. This guy. Yep. He went to the other side? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, Alice Cooper's cool. Yeah, what, Born may- again, what the fuck? Maybe Megadeth will show up. <laughs> <laughs> and Guar? What about them? I won't be surprised, dude. <laughs> what has been going lately? <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Uh, let's see. Where does it actually say that? Well, let me guess. Oh, no. I don't want to throw one. Say, I was going to say something, but I want to be able to go on air next week, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I'm. Oh, religion and politics? Never mix. <laughs> Always good dinner conversation. Born though. again Christian. Hmm. Yep. Born again. Yep. I'm still, I'm still only born once. That's he loves golf. Of. Hey, I love cheese. It works. <laughs> 57 blocks of cheese, you yeah. love it, or what? No, not creepy cheese. Not creepy cheese. Kind of, not kind of rapey cheese. Right. That's a little excessive. So would you listen to a punk band of, that consisted of members that in, entirely of members that had Down syndrome? <laughs> I could see why they call it a punk band. <laughs> oh. Because they say those who can't perform play punk. <laughs> no, uh, not that I'm bagging on these guys. You know what? I, is there a YouTube video or something? They plan to submit their song, Aina Munpita. Oh my god! Four piece punk band from Finland. All have Down syndrome. <laughs> some, <laughs> some of them are on the autism spectrum as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, we're gonna go down for talking about this story. I think I'm it's going hilarious. Hell. I'm working on a management yeah. position in hell now, dude. <laughs> Oh. What can you say? It speaks for itself. You know what? Of course I'd check it out. Why wouldn't I? In fact, I'd love to see it if it can't. Are they going on tour? <laughs> Doesn't say. I bet it'd be like a Three Stooges comedy metal act. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up that I'm laughing so fucking hard at that shit. I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> Ana Moonpita. Ana Moonpita. I, why else would you put a band like this together, right? Is that? What the hell? Are they like, hey, we're legit? Or we're is like... Little, that actually looks like a rendition of... You know like, what? We'll have Goonies. to watch this video. Watch it all crazy as fuck. 
<laughs> and they're punk as fuck, apparently. <laughs> oh, oh, man. We're gonna be a, a, start a punk rock band. <laughs> we're gonna be fucking famous, man. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking took him over. <laughs> fucking took him over. Take me in the womb. <laughs> Is that a fire truck? <laughs> People <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. I'm smart. I got stunned. Oh, dude. Why do we do that? I said the story was dangerous to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> right from the get-go, yeah. I knew this was a bad fucking idea. Oh, man. <laughs> Where do you go to from there? You don't really have a fucking segue on that one, do you? I don't. Oh, shit. Oh, man. We to get some stories. <laughs> <laughs> Start a punk rock band. <laughs> you done the play once? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> would be awesome punk rock <laughs> oh crap <Yeah. laughs> well hopefully this isn't our first and last three hour show <laughs> god damn it <laughs> Tom Maxwell wanted to break the uh, hell yes party rock band stereotype why the fuck would you want to do that? I know. They wouldn't That's go to the most Dole. awesome kind yeah. of fucking band. Well, they, like I said, Dole and Boring. <laughs> in case you want to call in, yeah. that, that number is 805-409-8585. Yeah, I suppose you could call in. What was the number again? Uh, 805-409-8585, bitches. <laughs> in case you take offense to any of the things that stack over here with saying Metalocities hate at gmail.com. <laughs> Metalocities hate. You're damn right. It's on the website. I see. If it's on the website, it's got to be true. Attention stack the ripper. <laughs> Care of. So, yeah, I guess you wanted to break the stereotype of them being a party band, which I don't know why they would want to. Um, change in songwriting process for the Blood for Blood album. Sangre, poor sangre. Here we go. Uh, exactly the way I envisioned it. There's a process to make the record. And I guess, uh, you know, partying with a couple of guys... Uh, uh, primarily left to just myself and the singer to write write it all pretty much the whole record came out fantastic we were gonna get rid of that stereotype hell yeah we're serious we're serious <laughs> and men we take it seriously I gotta be pleasant <laughs> I'm an astronaut <laughs> Oh, shit. I can't let that story go for some reason. <laughs> I, that should have been our last talk right now. Uh, well, well, goodbye, everybody. Well, I take this about equally as serious. So. <laughs> but it's time to get up to you now. <laughs> We're going to be the first radio show, Down Syndrome radio show. <laughs> Down Syndrome. <laughs> we do all the, the entire show like, hey, guys, what's up? What's happening? Thanks for tuning in. Do I have a file truck? I've got some shit to say. <laughs> you don't know what's in my Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> we just... <laughs> what was it? Fuck everyone else. <laughs> oh, man. We have fans? If not anymore... Uh. It, they're the hardest core fans that you've ever fucking heard, dude. <laughs> they're more metal than fuck, dude. We love our fans. <laughs> <laughs> A whole lot. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, it's going to be Valentine's Day on <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to get uh, your special somewhere. A special something. Give him something special. <laughs> you don't need all your chromosomes to get something, <laughs> set, something special. Oh, oh, man. Oh, where is this, the sound of music to save us now? <laughs> I just want to say at the beginning of the show, we said this was a radio. <laughs> Satirical radio. Yeah. Entertainment. 
Entertainment. We are not World Wrestling Federation. We don't know shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be taken seriously. <laughs> Nothing I say has ever been taken seriously by anybody. Right. Why start now? Why do we need to change this formula? Yeah. Look, I said some shit. And people are like, what? <laughs> no, you didn't. Like, yeah. I swear to God, I did. It's funny. The only time anybody hears me is when I say something wrong. Or fucked <laughs> up, yeah. <laughs> Right? Then, then it's when somebody pays attention. That's when the world was listening. <laughs> Everybody in unison was like, let me tune in to see what this show's all about for the first what time. What the fuck? That's what we're about. <laughs> 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 you better not make any plans. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. We're wrong. We're going to hell. <laughs> Oh, um, man. Yeah. That's just not right. So what else is up, man? Is there anything that, that is better than that? <laughs> I don't know. Let me check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Offensive Cradle of Filth <laughs> t-shirt New Zealand Museum Exhibition. The one that says Jesus is a cunt. On the back of it? It's in a museum. They're like, this is so offensive, we uh, had to put it in a museum. A Cradle of Hill t-shirt with the offensive images banned by the New Zealand chief censor in 2008. Generating controversy once again after it was selected to be displayed at the Canterbury Museum in Christchurch. Damn. A masturbating nun on the front. And Jesus. <laughs> wow. I That's see that story right underneath there. That Motorhead uh, talks me, to some dude at the uh, 57th annual Grammys. I bet he's been at all 57. He's old enough to have been at all, fi- at all 57, but he didn't give a fuck for about like 48 of them. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Doesn't that dude look like Conan O'Brien now? He still Scott does. Wyland? Yeah. Yeah. What's he's he doing of, nowadays? Uh, he's talking about Stone Temple Pilots and how the legal matters are way behind them now. Oh, now there's going to be a reunion because they're all running uh, store cash? Maybe. I don't know. Really? Wow. I don't know. Uh, Let's see man. where that goes. My stomach hurts from laughing too hard. <laughs> maybe you need a pill. <laughs> <laughs> Full beat signed uh, North American management deal with Q Prime. <laughs> Scorpion's legendary Virgin Killer album to be re-released. Released on limited edition 180 gram vinyl. Oh, there you go. I know somebody who's going to get that. Right? Def Leppard announced massive US what? tour with Sticks and Tesla? What? Def Leppard's <laughs> going on tour? Yay! <laughs> Tesla! <laughs> Cole oh, Chamber well, to re- get a new car. Cole Chamber to release <laughs> a Rivals album in May. <laughs> Sticks! I love Sticks! Uh, maybe Gene Simmons is right. Good. Maybe Rock is dead. According to uh, Steve Lips Kudrow of Anvil. Just because he looks like he's about dead doesn't mean they're rocking. That's dead. the true life, like, what was it, ACDC or some shit? Oh, no. No, no. They were, uh. Oh, look, they're from, Can- they're from Canada. <laughs> Canada! <laughs> I'm, Ca- I'm from Canada! <laughs> Crap. Mighty cold up there. <laughs> Great maple syrup. I know you guys only got two seasons. Oh, hey, look. Metallica launched a line of their own skis. Yes. How w- yuppie is that shit? Because if I crash into a tree, I want it to be on Metallica <laughs> skis. That's not the skis I was thinking when you said that. There's skis? a different kind of skis? Oh, a skis. You know, like a skis bucket? Basically a whore. Huh? No, I never a heard skis. it referred to like that. Skis is, is a whore, right? Am I wrong? I no. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought I was getting a look. I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought Call I was me right. out of the loop. Out of the loop. <laughs> Steven Steele. Don't know shit. That's Don't my know motto. Shit about shit. Ain't got no fucking comment, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh look, uh, Atreyu's back. Really? Yeah. That's too bad. Well, dude, you know, I mean, the never-ending story <laughs> has to have going third. Wouldn't that be a bitchin' remake? <laughs> Never ending story? Not particularly. Not particularly? Well, a because it's remake? one of those movies that was cool when I was a kid, you know, and I'm afraid if I see it now, it would be stupid, and I'd be like, damn, why'd I ever like this? True, but I mean. That's why I could not watch, like, Pee Wee's Big Adventure or some stupid shit like that. Well, it had some perverted moments in there. Yep. Hey, let's get into some metal right now. That's all.
What's up, everybody? We are back live and loud right here at Metalocity with Ding. 15 minutes to go in the show. Yep. Well, That's how we do it. Certainly flies. Fun flies when you're doing time. It has its moments. So it's been a crazy, uh, crazy couple hours, couple, crazy few hours. Few, yeah, we're not at a couple Touch anymore. that volume real quick. We've covered all sorts of topics. We had our highs, we had our lows. <laughs> <laughs> and we checked out that punk song. Yes, we did. <laughs> it was just that we thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Classic oh, is what man. we thought it would be. Classically going to hell. I'll remember that song, actually. What's the name of it? I don't remember the name I don't of remember it. Why the fuck do I I'm need just to saying I'm going to remember the song. I can just type into Google four yep. retards in a punk band. Oh. <laughs> you went there. But then you'd probably come up with every other punk band. <laughs> well, the show's been good. Oh, well. I beat around the bush and you full out went there. <laughs> Never go full retard. Never go full retard. <laughs> <laughs> You guys eating pizza? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> We're celebrating the last show, dude. <laughs> uh, all this bad news and you're uh, eating pizza? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, plates, dude. Thanks. Well, you know, I <laughs> figured you would want something. <laughs> <laughs> I offer yeah. you food at the Last Supper, don't no, I? No, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's yeah. cool. Don't worry about it, man. Doing school. I love pizza. <laughs> Is that pepperoni? Pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> I like pepperoni <laughs> and Canadian <laughs> bacon of yeah. mine. Oh, man. Like I said, we covered a wide variety of topics. Yes. I think we offended enough people. I think so. I think our goal, actually, was to cut back on the amount of offensive... Uh, Stuff. It was amounts of singular offense, like you or me offending somebody, but it's together as a team. And somehow that just went wrong tonight. I... <laughs> right. right out the window. You know what? It's not our fault that this shit pops up in the media. <laughs> All we simply did was cover a story. We're just being commentary yeah. on it. The video already existed. It had plenty of views before we commented on it. It uh, did. And our comments weren't nearly that bad. <laughs> comparatively. Dude, I imagine if you posted that up on one of the more... Inconspicuous yeah. websites. It sure, I was evil, but I'm not Satan evil. <laughs> not quite. More like minor demon evil. <laughs> minor de- more like sixth yeah. plane, fifth plane of hell demon. Right. He made a, a few bad choices, ended up in hell. <laughs> you know, the Dahmers. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Ramirez, is <laughs> Ed Geens. We say Jay Walked in Heaven. <laughs> Jay Walked in Heaven? It's a country song. <laughs> oh, shit, is it? I don't know. Oh, I was excited. It wouldn't fucking surprise me. <laughs> well, crap. <laughs> so, you know, basically to everybody, we, we take all that shit back and... <laughs> the JK list. Just pretend like you never even heard any of it tonight. This show did all. not exist. <laughs> These are not the yeah. droids you're looking for. We may or may not be back next Thursday. Thank you for the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing right yeah. there. <laughs> Thanks for the pizza, by the way. So in case this is the last show, we're going to go out with some pizza. But yeah. not until we do a couple... Uh, well, I don't want to call them Metal Masters because we threw it together in such a quick quick rush. Potential? I'm, I'm going to call it... I threw in some Metal Masters in there, but you decided... I, I just skipped right over them. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever, I, I whatever. I in the mix. My bad, dude. I have... You know what? I'll try to cram more into that last 30 minutes. I would appreciate it if you could. <laughs> At least try. Yeah, but n- it, nonetheless, it's a couple bit, bits and songs, so... So if you were to win the Powerball, would you rent Metallica? Uh, would I rent Metallica? Fuck, why not? That'd be kind of cool. Could you actually bribe the members of Pantera to coming together for a tribute? Who? You know, like, if you're like, yeah, I want you, Phil. I got a million dollars that says you will get back together. Yeah. <laughs> They're all, uh... A million apiece? Uh... <laughs> uh... A million apiece? Shit, with inflation and everything, I, you know, I don't. I can't really promise much, but... Oh, uh, you waffler. I would try. I'd try and bribe Vinnie Paul. Like, one million dollars to you, my friend. 
Yep, I want to add this damn outro, but it won't let me. <laughs> Aha. Aha. Uh-huh. You found a way around it? I did. Ah. Now the show will have a proper outro. <laughs> But first, we're going to get into some metal. One of our old school favorite bands. They've been a uh, guest on the show from way back when. Yeah. They even performed at our show. They have. Yep. And we're going to get into some right now. Yeah. Whoa, that was a quick three hours. Right? I mean, it took Gilligan that long to get lost on a desert island. It was that quick. It took us that long to get through this show. Yeah. It was supposed to be a three-hour tour. It was. It turned into a two-season tour. Yes. Well, we want to thank everybody t- for tuning in. Uh, everybody who was offended. We were just kidding. <laughs> if you dare tune in again, you can always check us out at Metalocity.net for all your information uh, options. You know what? I... We will have to correct. I, I, I got some feedback tonight that people on their uh, smartphones were having difficulty listening in. So hopefully right. if you were able to log in, we're going to look into the smartphone thing. I'm going to ask some questions and see what we can do. You're going to ask questions and demand answers, aren't you? That's right. I'm going to lay it down like that. Like that or like this? Maybe like this and like that. Okay. You never can tell. Yeah. It's, it, it's a crapshoot either way. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, really? You know what that means. It's time we to have overstamped our welcome. <laughs> so long. Farewell. That's it. I'll be the same. We will be back next Thursday, Goodbye. 7 p.m. to 10, 10 p.m. Pacific. Standard time. Right. That's Pacific Standard Time. PST, bitches. Yep. If you want to call on the show, the phone number is right there on the website. Listen and to the yeah, old archives. You can actually leave a message, too, if you want to. Yeah, leave us, a, leave us a message. If it's funny, we'll put it on air. Even if it's not. Yeah, maybe. All right, everybody, later. Later.